Um, I welcome this motion here today and I, I want to commend the Social Democrats for taping it. We have a severe crisis in teacher supply at present in both primary and post-primary schools, primarily caused by the cost and availability of housing around the country, especially in Dublin and urban, other urban centres, and also uh, greatly exasperated by the current cost of living crisis. I mean, teachers, particularly lower paid younger teachers, cannot afford the rental costs and have very little prospect of being able to manage a mortgage in the big urban centres. So while the cost and availability of housing and the cost of living um, crisis are the primary factors, they're not the only problems that have led to this crisis. I mean, there has been and there continues to be a lack of planning with regard to the re re recruitment and retention of teachers going back years. I mean, I thought in a secondary school and for years we couldn't get Irish teachers, then we couldn't get French teachers, then we couldn't get maths teachers. So there's been an issue for a number of years in certain subject areas at second level. And is a pattern um, to this lack of preparedness across services that are in crisis. So with the teachers, such as there's housing, the health service. I mean, it's traced back to inadequate and short-sighted government policy. A post-primary level in particular is about the creation of additional positions. So we have too many teachers who are on insecure temporary contracts and who are underemployed. And that is a key part of addressing the supply issue at this level. Um, delays in registration with the Teaching Council, in particular affecting teachers who qualified abroad, is something that could be easily addressed and rectified. Reduction of the cost of the PME, I mean, at, at the moment is excessive, and that needs to be looked at as well. Um, the government could remove the October and November cut-offs for permanent contracts, so the teachers coming home for Christmas or from abroad have the opportunity to get a full-time contract that would keep them here. As things stand, they would have to apply for a temporary contract, not be paid over the summer and then take their chances for next year. Um, cuts to middle management and um, post of responsibility uh, imposed in 2009, they haven't been fully restored. I mean, it's crucial to boost prom promotional prospects within the teaching profession and uh, to encourage more teachers to, or more people to, to actually become teachers. So I think what we need to see is more full-time contracts, promotional opportunities and competitive salaries and obviously simply build more houses as well to address the housing um, uh, shortage. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm concerned about um, special education teachers being removed and um, being put into to manage mainstream classes and children then with special needs are being, uh, being affected most as well. Thank you.